Hello. Today we're going to look at GitLab and IBM Cloud working together. We're going to look at two use cases. One is where GitLab is the repository and the actual pipeline, delivery pipeline or CICD is going to be within IBM Cloud. So it'll take the actual app, build it, and also deploy it. Second use case, GitLab will be driving it and it will be GitLab will have the actual app, will do the CI, CD, push it, and then the, the push will actually go to IBM Cloud. So let's look at both of these. We'll start with use case one, and we'll have a separate recording for use case two. All right, first is the tool chain. So what you'll see here, there's issues in, in basically GitLab, the project. Those are both tied to GitLab right within IBM Cloud. So you click those, as you'll see, we'll drive to them, to the GitLab project. And then the delivery pipeline, when we click that, what we see is the actual tool chain where it does the build, pulls from the GitLab repo, builds it, and then pushes it to the deploy stage with IBM then takes that build app and then deploys it to IBM Cloud. So you still get all the collaborative and current capabilities within GitLab, you just don't have the CI, the world best class CI CD, but IBM Cloud doing that. So let's look at that live. Oops. Okay, let's start with the dashboard. And what I'm looking at here is the IBM dashboard. And you'll notice there's this use case one. We'll look at use case two later. Here's the app. What I like to do first is just show you the app and then we'll make some changes. How's that as we build it using IBM Cloud? So here's our app. We've got this explanation star, explanation pound, I should say. We'll make that three explanation marks. How's that? So first, let's look at the actual project. Uh, we're going to be working with this GitLab IBM Cloud UC1. This is the pipeline that I was referring to. So there's an integration between GitLab and IBM Cloud. So I can click right here and I can drive right into that GitLab project from within IBM Cloud. Here we're going to make our changes, right? Oops. So we can actually kick off the IBM Cloud pipeline. So let's look at that IBM pipeline in a little more detail. So here's we have the build stage. I mentioned the Git URL. This is pointing to that project, the GitLab IBM Cloud UC1. It's going to build it. It's then, it's then going to push that over to the uh, next phase, which is deploy. So what we're going to see here is we'll see this, what they call running, and then it'll pass it once the build completes. This will start running, and then we'll have our app changes that we change in GitLab. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm back in the GitLab project. I'm going to use the web IDE. And we'll make a simple change to our index file. And as I mentioned, I will just go in and change this to be three exclamation marks. Spring at IBM with GitLab. Let's go ahead and commit that change. You notice here, we can do multiple commits now. Multiple files, I should say, make it one commit. Smaller number of commits. And we'll just do some uh, simple demo changes and we'll commit that to master so once i commit this with the integration with ibm cloud i can now go to ibm cloud here and you'll notice the stage is already running made the change picked it up it will now go to build number 10 here it should and then we'll see a this will go to gray in other words it will, will not be active and then it'll go back to green once it's fully deployed now this will take a couple minutes and we will come right back. Okay, you can see we completed the build. It's now build 10. <clears throat> Pass it over to the blow stage. Now we're deploying it. We're about 96%. Uh, this was actually great for a while. Now it's green, even though it's not fully deployed yet. Uh, the actual routes and everything are there. And you can see it's now deployed. We can click here and drive to it. <clears throat> what we're going to do is go back to the dashboard here. Where we have our Cloud one here, you notice that's red. But we'll refresh here and you'll see we have a green running. Here's our route to the GitLab IBM Cloud UC1. You can visit it. You can now see the pound side's been removed. We have a three explanation point and we did our changes within GitLab, our repo, made the change, kicked off the IBM tool chain delivery pipeline, and we now have our changes. This concludes use case number one. And 
Next up will be use case number two, where actually GitLab CI CD will be driving. We'll build it. You see us do a bunch of tests, what different stages, we'll actually do a Java doc, test some documentation, and then we'll push it to IBM Cloud. 